on last season this week when they hosted their first off-season workout with their new roster and coaching staff. Our Kevin Lewis shows us how Bucks players plan on ushering in a new era of Tampa Bay football. Second and ten. With Tom Brady's retirement, the Bucks officially have an open quarterback competition. A free agent signee, Baker Mayfield, joins Kyle Trask, who's finally getting a shot at real playing time. And for me, I feel this time I just really need to hone in and be as consistent as I can. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to make this team succeed. The Bucks' second round pick in 2021 got to watch the greatest of all time for two full seasons. And he says the biggest lesson he learned was one of the most basic. I was able to see what a true professional looks like coming into work every single day, you know, the highs and lows of whatever it may be, but still coming to work and still getting the job done. Trask says he isn't worried about any outside noise. He's just focused on what he can do to try and win the starting job. And at the end of the day, just have fun and you know, lift the ones around you because I think when you do that, it ties the whole thing together and everybody plays better. No matter who starts at quarterback, offensive lineman Tristan Wirfs says it's going to be different in more ways than one. You know, as much as I love Tom, you guys, you guys know how I feel about Tom, but it'll be, you know, he can't run. But so it, it'll open up a little, you know, some new stuff for us, um, and it'll be it'll be really exciting. Wirfs earned a Super Bowl ring as a rookie. Now he's a leader on this team, and he wants to introduce a new mindset to the locker room. So we want everyone to be together. be together, you know, and everyone to be like, yeah, we've done this that we did that with this group of people in this year, that's in the past, we're here now. We know what it takes, you know what I'm saying? For us to get everyone on that same page of knowing what it takes to get that done, um, but not letting there be any individuals. Is, um, everyone with one goal, one collective in mind, um, all working for the same thing. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News. All right, Kevin, thank you. It's certainly going to be interesting to see what shakes out. But one thing is for sure right now, Vegas not very optimistic about their chances. Some fans feeling the same way right now. Caesar Sportsbook gives the Bucks the longest odds to win the NFC South Division at plus 460. That means on a $10 bet, you would win $46. Not impossible, but right now, they kind of think unlikely right now. As you can imagine, it's an even long shot to go to and win the Super Bowl, Caesars has the team at plus 3,500 to win the NFC Championship game and plus 8,000 to win the Super Bowl, meaning for every $10 you bet, you get $350 and $800 respectively. Wendy? That's some long numbers.